Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diaries 2021 Vlogmas slash Christmas Advent Calendar. I gotta hear this, like literally right in my face. <laughs> For dinner, I'll take, be taking some, stop running it. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diaries 2021 Crafting Advent Calendar slash Vlogmas. How are you? I'm Trish if we haven't met. If we have met, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you. Hello, good morning. I'm here with my buddies. Oh yeah, we're hanging out. I'm caffeinated, I've showered. I'm planning on working on my tea cozy. Um, and I'm a little... I don't know, nervous, concerned. I'm struggling with part of the pattern. I am really tired. <laughs> so I think it all caught up with me, the party and every cleaning up after the party. It didn't really stop until I guess Monday morning I felt like it stopped. And then I think all the everything just kind of like came down on me. So I'm literally gonna spend this day pretty much working on a couple of projects it's not going to be very exciting so i have projects started i'm just going to work on them today like john socks i'm so close so close to toe on the second sock here's the first sock in case you're wondering and this christmas tree cozy and then i want to weave on some towels and that's probably all i'm going to do today the only thing some of you guys are gonna think I'm nuts, but the only thing that is not kind of like relaxing and chilling is those towels. I was having some tension problems. If you're not a weaver, it wouldn't make sense to you anyway, but I was having some tension problems with the wind on on the back. So this could be a mistake, but I decided to wind it all the way to the front and then wind it back properly to the back. And if I have to retie the warp at that point because the tension changes in some spots, I am prepared to do that. I only have about a quarter of a towel woven. So if I have to tie it up again, I don't lose that much and it'll be worth it because tension issues are just a pain to keep dealing with for a whole 10 yard warp. So I'd rather get it right I'm gonna try a different method next time. So I'll talk to you guys about it and I will definitely film it and take you through it because it'll be my first time trying it ever. But anyway, for today, I'm literally gonna chill on the couch with my buddies, work on projects that are already started. And I need to go get the remote so that I can like not have to move while I watch Netflix. I'll be right back. Oh my word, this camera. All right, look at my body. Um, I thought I'd tell you guys the saga of this stupid tree cozy. I mean, this beautiful tree cozy I'm working on. Um, if you've been watching all of Vlogmas, early in the beginning, I made a bat so that I could spin and crochet 
a Christmas tree shaped cozy. Um, hang on, let me show you what it looks like. It is called Crochet Pattern Tea Cozy Christmas Tree. It looks like this, okay? P.S. None of this is the fault of the person who wrote the pattern. I spun the bat and um, plied it and everything and it turned out super cute. Where is the yarn? Right here. This is the yarn. Is this not the most perfect for a Christmas tree yarn you ever saw in your whole life? It's perfect. So I was pretty excited and I went to town. I was like 244 yards, yeah. And in the back of my mind, early on, I was like, I wonder if that's enough. Because if you've ever done crocodile stitch, it takes a lot of yarn. So, but then I'm like, yeah, it must be enough. It's fine, it'll be fine. So no, it's not fine. That's the spoiler. The way it works, and this is like a modified crocodile stitch that'll make the tree bows, bows, bows. So you make like a structure and then it has these little loops all on it and all the loops are where you will make that little stitch. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Hi. So, I made one side of the structure, there's two sides of it, and then basically what happens is you connect it at the top and bottom so that you can put the spout and the handle out, right? That makes a lot of sense. Um, I made the whole one side, and I was like, this yarn seems like it's getting light, because again, I know that that crocodile stitch is gonna take a ton of yarn. So, I decided to look at the pattern then, after I had already started the second half of the structure. And I was like, crap, I don't have enough yarn. Now what do I do? So yesterday or the day before, I was like, that's okay. I'll just make another bat and I'll spin it. And even if it's not like, I mean, it's not gonna be identical, but even if it's not close enough that you can't tell the difference, I could always do the whole inside structure out of this and then the whole tree boughs out of the next one so i was like it's fine it's fine but i know it's going to take me probably a couple days to spin that it took me a few days to spin this even though it was like busiest hi <laughs> busiest busiest time of the year for real i was like okay so i gotta think about this what do i want to do you can't really see that much of the structure underneath the crocodile stitch so i started to think about it and i was like wonder if i could just find a really dark green commercial yarn or like a leftover in my stash or something and i found two of these they're cascade 220. okay i had to get a new battery anyway but so what i wanted to show you is look how close these are and p.s I hardly had any green in my stash at all because green is a color that I end up using a lot. You use it for Christmas, you use it for St. Patrick's Day, it's springy. Like, I end up using green a lot and I hardly had any, but look how close this is. This is the Christmas tree yarn, right? This is the Christmas tree yarn. This is what I found for a base. Could it be any closer? Okay, so I've just finished the entire like underneath structure. So um, I think this goes over the handle. I'm not sure which, does this go over the spout? And then this side has a little buttonhole and you put a button so you can go, I guess this goes over the handle. That must be, this goes over the handle. So it's done up to the, the next stage with this stuff. And I mean, this means like I'm actually pretty close and then I have to crochet a topper to add to it too because part of the pattern is that there are two different toppers you can put on, star or finial. Do I know what I'm gonna do? No, I can't decide. It's really hard to decide. You wouldn't think it would matter that much, but after all this, I want it to be good. Okay, so, and there's something else too that is making me insane. So I'm having this day where I'm like chilling on the couch a little bit and relaxing with my good buddies and the fireplace and crochet and all this other stuff. Every time I go in my kitchen, it is like killing me not to eat sugar. It is everywhere in that kitchen. 
everywhere I look, there is like really, really yummy stuff that has sugar in it. And I'm having a really hard time. Like I don't even want to go in there. So right now I'm having some cherry seven up zero sugar just because like it's really making me insane. I only have a couple days left. So if I don't hurry up, I am not going to have this thing done in time for Christmas this year. And then knowing me, I'll be like, well, I didn't make it. I'm just going to put it away till next year. And then I'll take it out again on like the 23rd and I still won't have it done. So I'm back at this. Okay, let's make some tree boughs. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest face? We're really having a chill out day for real. <laughs> All right, it took me a good portion of the day and my buns are actually sore from sitting on the couch so long. But isn't this hilarious? Um, it does still need a button down here. And it there are two toppers in the pattern. I don't really like either one of them. And on our tree, we put a little Santa hat. So I might put a Santa hat on it eventually, but I'm just... <laughs> cracking up over how funny this is we were just laughing about how it really looks like something our grandmas would have had out during the holidays but i love it <laughs> oh you have like jimmy neutron hair sticking out of it <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me for my chill out um crafting day for vlogmas and i will see you guys live on thursday thanks i love you bye <laughs>